Hi Pisces, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter, February 2018 Tarot Reading. Now you received the Kanaz Rune. This is really an interesting rune. It can be a really warm and fuzzy, bringing light and fire into your life, or it can burn you. But what it really does is make the invisible visible. It shines a light on things. It tells you that it's time to act. Now we have this eclipse series, and the January 31st eclipse was about home, family, friends, relationships. And I think there's going to be a little hangover from that, because you received the Four of Wands. But then the February solar eclipse is going to be about independence, freedom, liberation, and how you fit into the cosmic collective which is really interesting, too, with the Four of Wands as well. The Four of Wands can be about home and hearth. The goals that you took on are now blazing with success, and people are going to be honoring you, recognizing you, assisting you, and supporting you. It represents just accomplishments. But it's also about rites of passage, you know, birthdays, graduations, weddings, reunions, some type of jubilee or feta. And can indicate a positive ascension in your life and success. Marriage, friendship, business, family. This can signify maybe you moving your residence or improving your current home. That's why I said it could be kind of a hangover from the January 31st family and relationship. Was it lunar eclipse? Now the cards on the left for what you know. You receive the Seven of Cups and the Empress. And the Empress is like the Four of Wands. This is about fertility, success, new beginnings. But the Seven of Cups is saying that it's really time for you to make some decisions. And the Seven of Cups card is about splayed energy or some confusion. Some distracting things that make this a really difficult decision. This is a card right now that's telling you to really think through what you plan to do with this Empress card. So you don't make the wrong decision. Now the cards next door for what is or can be yours is reinforcing the fact that you've got some new beginnings coming up because you have the Fool and the Hierophant. It is saying that maybe it's time for you to go on a new quest, some new personal discoveries. Be the breath of life. That's what Spiritus is in the Fool. It's time to learn some new lessons. Find out where you fit into some new niches in life. And the Hierophant is there to make you more honest and traditional. Maybe you don't want to fly off the deep end and, and throw discretion into the wind. Maybe you want to go more down a traditional path. One that probably feels comfortable from the teachings that you had when you were young. Whatever it is, when you see the Hierophant, you're seeking some type of truth. And that's the reason now you're embarking on something new with the Fool card. What's in front of the Hierophant is the known. And then he has two pillars on each side. That's the good and evil. And what's behind him is the unknown. And this is what you're seeking. You're wanting to reveal some secrets. You're wanting to have some revelations and some enlightenment. And the Kanaz rune can do that for you. That can bring in enlightenment. But if you make the wrong decisions, it can burn you. Now, interestingly enough, the cards next to the Hierophant is the Empress again and the Eight of Swords. So it's saying here, yeah, you have an opportunity for new ventures, new fertile beginnings. But for some reason, this Ace of Swords is saying that you've been holding your own self back. 
And this has you like a captive in your own mind. You haven't made peace for with or for something. And that's why you're back there with the Seven of Cups having to make a really hard decision about something. And you're wondering here with the Hierophant, should I go traditional or should I just, you know, screw it? And just go with what feels right sometimes. You want to discover some new things, but the future cards are saying here is that you have the Temperance, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Ten of Cups. Now the first future card is Temperance, and it's saying, whoa, wait, cool your jets. Don't get burned by this Kanaz card. Make sure there's some moderation in the decisions that you make, which puts you back into the traditional decisions with the Hierophant. It appears there's some type of healing that needs to be going on here because you've been holding yourself back with this Eight of Swords. And in reality, at any time, you could have released yourself, but you haven't. Now, the Temperance card can say that there's an angel, a guardian, somebody assisting you in the backdrop. And maybe you should listen to this person or this specter of some sort. It appears now that you have to sit back and reconcile something in your mind. And with the Six of Cups there, the card of memory and your past and maybe childhood or past lives, this must have to do with something from your past that has been bothering you that keeps surfacing. Maybe you should look to see where your south node is in your chart because that might tell you what category this is all dealing with. Now the presence of the Six of Cup card can say that Somebody from your past is going to be walking into your life in your future. Because that's where this card is at, in your future. And it could even bring or blaze some new pathways with the Ace of Wands card. Wands is fire. And here it is, creativity, enthusiasm. Injecting it with some new energy, with a new promise. And this Ace of Wands works really well with the Four of Wands as the overall energy card because the Four of Wands is saying that you accomplished something. It might have been even a shared accomplishment where a lot of people were on the same sheet of music and they're singing in harmony. But right now there's going to be a, a reset. There's that Ace of Wands there giving a new promise for a new beginning. But you have the Hermit card right next to it and it's saying, yeah, you're going to have to think about this really deep. Where you want to go next? What you want to do next in your life? You're looking for a guiding light. You're looking for yourself. And this hermit card can be about know thyself. And if you do, and you can discover yourself, you're going to receive the Ten of Cups, which is the happiness card. You know, you get a glimpse of heaven over the rainbow of cups. And this brings happiness into your family and your home, which is working well again with the Four of Wands. And that's why you're going to have a little hangover from this January 31st lunar eclipse that was all about home and relationships. Something is now carrying along from that eclipse. And particularly with the Six of Cups there, saying that it had to do with something from your past. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.